Hey, hi guys! Welcome back to. Ah, oh, you bugger! <laughs> what? You just literally went like that. Just sat it down. All right, sorry. Hi guys, and welcome back to episode nine. No, my pillow's wrong. Was wrong. Sorry, was that let princess sort herself out? Wow. All right, you, you good now? Can we can we start the episode? No, I've been. No wonder I've got a permanent bruise on this arm. Because <laughs> I just slammed into you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, welcome to episode nine of Travel Travel. None. Episode none. Nine. Oh, God. God. Um, God. If you don't know what this is, it's uh, me and Holly to talk about our travels and our travels. <laughs> our <laughs> travels. <laughs> our Not tra- the chocolates. <laughs> our travels with each other. Um, Trouble speaking as well, apparently. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then hello. And if you're listening to us on Spotify, I nearly messed that up as well. Should I start again? Or if you're watching this on Spotify, you're just staring at a screen with our faces on it. <laughs> they're not moving. You can't see what they're doing. Yeah, um, yeah. Stop watching us and do something with your life. <laughs> if you're listening to us on YouTube, why are you not watching us? <laughs> <laughs> just go to Spotify. Anyway, right. Um, now that's over and done with. Um, yeah. This week, what's it been like? You've not done the, I'm Sean. Oh yeah, I'm Sean, this is Holly. Should we just start again? No. No? You like this intro? This is absolutely chaotic. This is how much love Sean has for me. This is Holly. This is Holly. (laughs) Holly. Yeah, Mm. carry on. So, if you don't know about us, um, we love travelling and we're currently living in the middle of the Lake District. Oh, there's a surprise. Let's tell everyone again that we're living in the middle of nowhere in the Lake District. We've only told them for nine weeks straight and then before that on YouTube, we told them for (laughs) about three months straight. Anyway, so um, what have we been up to this week? That camera is not what it normally is. Uh, It's fine. Are you okay? Are you... If I move the camera now, it's going to completely change everything. That's no, fine. I'm just saying it's not what it normally is. Okay. okay. Hey, what have we been up to this week? Um, working. Working. As per usual. Yeah. Um, it's been a weird one, working. Uh, we also went down to... Penrith and done a food shop. Yeah, there's nothing too interesting about that. We're not going anywhere today because there was chance of flooding and we didn't want to risk leaving the valley and not getting back in the valley. Yeah, that's an actual thing around here. Like, yeah. we could actually get locked out from our home. Yeah. If it floods, uh, yeah. you can walk it, apparently, but it's, like, waist-deep times. <sighs> don't want to be walking that sort of thing. No. So, yeah, it's been a bit weird. But we have actually done something this week. There's something quite impressive for our future travels. We've booked, booked our flights, yeah. Booked our flights to Melbourne, mm-hmm. which is quite impressive. We are going... When are we going? We're fine on New Year's Eve, or for the Scottish people out there listening. Hogmanay. <laughs> Give them the story. If, um... Sorry, Holly, but not me, Holly, other Holly, i.e. Holly, not why Holly. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. Hogmanay is not a place. Hogmanay <laughs> is the Scottish word for New Year's Eve. Don't ask me why it is, it just is. So, so you made a post up on Instagram, Instagram saying roll on Hogmanay, which, yeah. Because you made it in a, like a way of travel, like, oh, it's yeah. a bit like. And she thought it was a place, I assume. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was I quite... forget that not everyone speaks the same language as I do. No, to be fair, I thought going to Scotland, I don't think I You really didn't know what it was, no. yeah. So that was, uh, yeah, Hogmanay, um, New Year's Eve. It's Hogmanay, yeah. Yeah. But it's New Year's Day, it's it not is. Hogmanay Day. <laughs> it's more of a tradition though, isn't it? You got uh, you normally have, is it? Steak pie. Steak pie, we don't really have that down south. Steak pie on New Year's yeah. Day. And first footing. Do you used to do first footing? I don't really think I don't. Yeah, there's a lot of old traditions. We were always taught, well, my gran always opened the front door and opened the back door and let the old yeah, I've heard out that and the new in. So first footing. First when... footing is you're meant to have a tall, dark, tall, dark and handsome stranger, I believe. Be the first person to cross your threshold. Right. I, don't quote me on this, but I think that's what it is. You're, or you're meant to have tall, dark and handsome man. Right, okay. Cross your threshold. And there's something about giving gifts or something on the first? Yeah, you, you should never uh, show up empty handed. You should always what? show up with something. Is that... when you first foot someone on New Year's Eve because mm. then you're bringing them food of prosperity for the rest of the year. So there you go. Well, it's weird that we're talking about... I realise we just spent like 10 minutes talking about New Year's Eve on a uh, uh, yeah. in the middle of uh, September. September. Yeah. <laughs> well, the shops have got Christmas stuff in now, haven't they? Yeah, or flying oh. as well. No. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Before we know it, it will be the end of the season, really. Yeah, so for slowing. us. Yeah, it's well, not it's coming. Starting to, well, it's not slowing down yet, but we can see it and see the light at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it's not been much, um, but let's move on to our travel troubles then. Well done, you said it correctly this time. But yeah, my one this week is based on last week's travel troubles. So Holly last week said that I can't find anything. You can't. If it's in right in front of my face, I couldn't find it. You can't. No, I can't. You can't. No. You no. still can't to this day. But my travel troubles is the fact that Holly knows I can't find it. So what we do is we put procedures in place. Do you know where we're going with this Oh, one? that's petty. It's very petty, but... <laughs> that was <laughs> one, one time out of the 18 times that you don't do it. So we have a hanger near the door where we put the key because I can't find anything. Can I? No, <laughs> you can't. So you also don't remember to put them there either, so don't give me that. Don't put that down as my yeah, negative when I forget it once and you forget it about 18 so times. The other day I went to the lockup, didn't have the key, didn't know where it was. Holly was like... It's in my bag hanging up. And normally hanging up a bag, you'd probably put it on the back of the door. Why was it on the back of the door, Sean? Why wasn't it on the back of the door? I don't know why it wasn't. It was... Because the jackets that were wet were hung on the back of the door. So you hung it up in the wardrobe. So I had to find the key, to find the bag to find the key to lock up to go to work. But you didn't find the key. You came in and went, I don't know where it is. And when I told you it was hung up, you went, no, it's not. Yes, it was. I'm staring at where it was. It was, like we've said before, this room is 12 feet by 8 feet. There's not a lot of places to look yet, Sean. Still can't. But my, my issue is, if you've, we've got issues, then we should stick to, like, hanging Where's stuff. the key just now? I don't know. <laughs> is it even hanging up? <laughs> it is, it is hanging up, that's fine. Okay. Oh, that would have been funny, that would have... No, it is hanging up, that's fine. Probably I had it last, so it's fine. It's hanging Actually, up. I had it last, because we went out yesterday and I hung it up. Yeah. Um, did you want to go for your negative, then? Sure. Yeah. My negative with Sean, not just for this week, but for all time, is I might need it later. Well, oh, I say it a lot. Or we need to keep this, because... Right. Do you know where I'm going with this? Go on, give examples. So, when you carry a backpack, right? <laughs> oh, I know exactly where this is going now. <laughs> For some reason, Sean has in his head that the inside of this backpack would be dirtier than a toilet bowl. Don't know why, but he just he has it in his head. Our backpack that we use for it, anything, really, mm. at the moment, is grocery shop. Yeah. So the worst thing it's going to have in it is tins and fruit and veg, and there's nothing that's birthed inside of it. Yeah, for some reason, Sean, we bought, we bought, ordered Sean a pair of um, swimming shorts online, got them delivered to Mountain Hero House, picked them up yesterday, they don't fit Sean. So I was like, right, okay, we'll just keep the shorts in the invoice, get rid of the plastic bag and that it comes in, we don't need it. Just put it in the backpack and we'll remember because we take it to town every time we leave. No, no, no. Sean doesn't want to get rid of the packaging and put it in the bin because it has to because in Sean's brain it has to go back to the shop as it came out of the shop it has to go back in the plastic bagging which has been torn to shreds because Sean opens everything like a child <laughs> so there's a massive slit in it because he's he's just ripped it open like he's the Hulk but he's now shoved the said shorts inside, crumpled the bag up and put it to protect it. <laughs> I don't understand how it's protecting it. If anything, all it's going to do now is cause us to have rubbish in the bottom of that bag when you take them back to the shop. Sorry, when I take them back to the shop. No, I'll give them the bag. No, you won't. Yeah, well, no, 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 you won't. Why not? Because you won't. I'll be like, yeah, you can get that bag just in case you need it again. Here's this bit of plastic I've absolutely <laughs> decimated. Do you want it back? No. Instead of us putting it in a bin and potentially recycling it at our workplace to save the environment, Sean would rather keep a hold of it. But this is, Sean does this, Sean done this in Europe as well. Right. We kept a bag of plastic bags. No, 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 no. In my defence, after it got like two but, countries after, so we got a little bag which was in Greece, and I kept it because we used it as a good like moving washing from time to time. And it got to two countries in, I was going, "Oh, let's get rid of this now." And you're like, "Oh no, we kept it this long. Might as well keep it longer." But 
but I think my Sean's a precautious traveller also comes down to the overpacking that Sean done when we travelled last. He would do nothing but moan and complain and whinge and go, mm, my bag's heavier than yours. Yes, yeah, Sean, it is, because you decided to travel in Europe in the summer that you needed how many jumpers? How many pairs of jeans? Two pairs of jumpers and two pairs of jeans? Yeah. Yeah. For why? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. So as much as he's all over YouTube and he's all over uh, TikTok telling you how to pack your bag, don't listen, to Sean. <laughs> wow! Just completely <laughs> burned my YouTube channel. Don't listen, to Sean. Wow! The video that's up is actually one that I pretty much told you what to put in your bag. Yeah. Um, so that was good. So my positive about you this week. Mm. So my positive about you was actually you. Sometimes stop me from overthinking about travel. Hmm. So, for example, we booked our flights as we were saying earlier, and I'm going, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. So I can book my flights, I can book the hostel. Yeah, you're hundred miles hotel, an hour. I can go to the next place, next place. Yeah. And this was like when we were traveling Europe as well, because I'm like very like, all right, I'll have it all planned out. It's just easy to travel. But like, if you do that, then you're missing a lot of the actual. <laughs> spontaneity yeah yeah of the flexibility want. of it as yeah, well if you want to go somewhere different you can mm. but yeah um so you balance that out about me because mm. i plan a lot of stuff but you like the um yeah you bring a bit more like which is funny because fire. when we first tra started traveling in europe yeah our first place we had a full-on um breakdown about yeah. our entire routine like our our entire plan was gone because we couldn't travel, so I had to get used to enjoying spontaneity and flexibility and figuring things out as you go and not planning. You like to know your next place. Yeah, that's I don't need you, to know the one after that. Yeah. yeah, you just need to know where you're going no. next. That's all. Mm. You, that's your. Whereas Sean had us already booking the hostel in the third place yeah I would, I would plan it out. but it's not even that I wouldn't I wouldn't do it on purpose I'd just keep going I was like wouldn't stop mm. so if you didn't stop me I'd be like right you'd yeah. have us in um, Cambodia think... by the time that you blinked yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, that's, that's my positive about you you keep things what's that rain oh yes yeah, it's rain there's apparently a hurricane over Cumbria right now yeah I think there's another one coming later in the week as well but yeah. um but, my positive with you mm. is kind of a bank backhanded compliment to wow. myself. Mm. Wow. I don't know if this is... Okay, carry on. So when we were looking for flights... Yeah. And we were both looking, we were trying to find the best like route, route and best price and, yeah. you know, best time... So we weren't travelling for 59 hours, which some of them were wanting you to do. Yeah. For the sake of £20 cheaper. <laughs> but my positive is, you know when to admit defeat. <laughs> yeah. Because you could have easily... Like, I'd found, I found the flights that we ended up booking. Yeah. And as soon as we found it, you stopped. Whereas I think in the past, I have been... Yeah. trying to look for the, the no we can do better we can do better yeah. we can do better if you keep doing that you're never going to book it no and that, that's we kind of set a date didn't we we said well the 15th of September we will book we're our going flights. to book our flights yeah so as soon as that came we booked our flights on that yeah. day so but we'd already looked up beforehand what was cheaper and I, I we'd looked this, at rough routes and stuff as I well I had this and... idea of going by uh, um, Vietnam and I was like oh that's the cheapest and it's it one we could only find it was best lay over time best 14 hours in Vietnam but it was like it was about seven hundred pounds. Yeah, and then it came to the day that, and it was changing airlines and stuff like that as well, was it not? One of them. It was two. It was two changes. It was. Yeah. It was, but it was. Yeah, the one we ended up getting is is good. We're with one airline. We're we've got a ten hour layover in mm. Beijing, which isn't the greatest, but yeah, video on the airport. <laughs> <laughs> we can say we've been to China. Yeah. Well, Sean's already been to yeah. an airport in China, but. I'm just, I'm just touring airports in China. He's <laughs> not actually <laughs> not stepping going. outside. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just touring China's air, uh, airports. Yeah. But yeah, we're spending there and then we're going off to Melbourne. It was, you, Melbourne got it, yeah. you got it for about 70 quid cheaper and obviously... Yeah, and we got bags. Yeah. We, as much as we can't take our backpacks as carry-on, Yeah. you get 23 kilo each. And it's just something about we can take small 
Yeah, yes. there's. We're just going to have to get to the airport and kind of see what they say. But our my, my backpack and the one that Sean's probably going to end up buying is cabin size. Yes. My backpack is by Cabin Zero. Yeah. It's a UK company. Is it? Mm -hmm. yes. And they design bags to meet Ryanair restrictions, yeah. which is the worst in the world, apparently. Is it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, yeah but that's good. So we both have to go positive, we both have a negative. Um, right. Let's get our first ever, <laughs> first ever person that texted in. Wrote in. Wrote in. And um, it's only one person we could rely on. Yeah, we were like, come on, guys. All right, so give them a run now when I try and find out what, what this whole writing in is. And I'll find this. We wanted people to write in about their travel troubles and see if we could give them advice on how to conquer them, whether that be traveling by yourself, traveling with friends, traveling with family, traveling as a couple. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to first of all start with the um, the comment on the newest video because she got a bit stroppy that we hadn't already filmed it. <laughs> Bloody rude. I did comment. Probably <laughs> I don't know why she's got an English accent. <laughs> she's Scottish. <laughs> well, I'm going to put her in English accent just to annoy her. Bloody rude. <laughs> no, I did comment your probably after you finished filming. Your but still... <laughs> Do your Shrek, Shrek voice, oh. I'll insult her more. <laughs> One second, let me just get in character. August, I like onions. Bloody rude. <laughs> I did comment props after you filmed, but still, does this mean I need to be on Instagram? No, you don't have to be on Instagram to comment. You um, can just comment and wait for us to reply. So let's get to the real comment. You can go to Instagram, you can go to YouTube, you can email us Uh Travel Troubles podcast at gmail.com. Gmail, because, gmail, you know, we're down with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Or, yeah, follow us on the Instagram page, Travel Troubles. I literally podcast. said that. Oh, did you? Oh, good. Yeah. I won't listen to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you read it because. So. This is by our friend Lauren, friend of the podcast, Lauren. Comes from Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> I saw the tears looking at you. Um, my travel trouble as a solo traveller, because you've got no pals other than me. Um, <laughs> people need to write into the show. You can bring into our first ever call in. Um, she, people she, in hostels being loud at like 6am when, when they are when they are leaving the hostel. Like pack the night before, not at 6am. I had to get up early once or twice and was literally tiptoeing around not to disturb the others. And then others would literally stoat which means walk in, in Scottish. <laughs> uh, Stoat about turning lights on and making so much noise. The lack of respect for other people can be insane. Luckily, I only had a couple of rude people. We had this in Thessaloniki. Yes. But it wasn't them packing. It was people coming in at five in the morning and oh. being so loud. and Yeah. Um, way to deal with it. Right. Be passive aggressive. <laughs> I'll like give you your tips first, and then I'll give you my my ideas of how to avoid it. So, how would you? Would you being passive aggressive. What do you mean by that? Then, what would you do? I would be um, really quiet, and you know, as she said, she was. Hmm. I would be really quiet, and you know, have all my stuff packed the night before, and then just as I was leaving, I would slam the door to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but as you're saying, the problem is with these people were the fact they were going off to their flights, and that's the worst because you can't get revenge on them. Yeah. <laughs> so the ways that you can avoid this is um, don't stay at hostels near airports. Hostels near airports. Have airport. good eye masks and earbuds. Yeah, like sort yourself out, mm -hmm. make yourself as comfortable um, as possible. Smaller rooms, obviously better. Um, avoid party hostels if possible try and make sure you've got a hostel with a curtain on your bed as well yeah um it it helps block out the really, light. yeah it doesn't do much for the noise but yeah the light's massive um and to be fair you kind of the more you travel in hostels you kind of get more heavy sleeper i assume because yeah you kind of get used to it but you kind of get used to it it's just one of those things that come with hostels it's not nothing you can really do about it um i can put out a message I did say to her that I would stop old people from doing this, but I don't think that is possible. Um, I put out a message and saying, if you are staying in a hostel, just be respectful. Be respectful. It's just I, it's so 
easy for people not to be respectful for other people. Yeah, hundred percent. But that goes with everything. Yeah, it goes with hostels. It goes with hotels. It goes with living jobs. Yeah. You, know. um, you just have to remember that you have neighbours. You have yeah. people you're travelling with. You have other people around. Normally, the rules with hostels is, I would say, before ten o'clock. <laughs> Uh, sorry before 8am don't put the light yeah. on yeah and after 10 o'clock at night yeah. yeah yeah. most hostels have a quiet time and if they do abide by them just read there's normally a rules on the doors yeah. as well just read them and try and so again think about packing in advance what's ironic though right is um, I've travelled with this person in question yeah and I know for a fact that she snores She's definitely kept those people awake all night with her story, oh, yeah. and they may have just decided to seek a little yeah. bit of revenge they on were, her. They were passive aggressive for her, yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. 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 So if you're a snorer, <sighs> you kind of had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think about other people if you're a snorer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so if you have your own travel troubles and you want us to help us with yeah. your travel troubles, then... Um, Where can you write in, Sean? Instagram. Uh-huh. Email. Uh-huh. And in the comment section on YouTube. And all of them are Travels Trouble podcasts? No. Yeah, sh- shoddy at this. No, it's it's Funny Backpacker on YouTube. That's where you're watching it from oh, on YouTube. Yeah. And it's Travel Travel Trouble podcast on Instagram and Travel Trouble podcast at gmail.com. And also TikTok. And TikTok. Oh, yeah. That's Funny Backpacker as well. Is it? Yeah. We don't have a... So the ones that he gets the reviews on, the the views on, sorry, have you noticed that he's keeping it as his channel? I'm trying to, I'm trying to help... Mm, funny backpacker. So you, you get really snarky about this because you've got your own um, Instagram as well, haven't you? It's, yeah, uh, which... Happily holidayist. Yep. And um, it's you do a lot of Polaroid pictures. So you take a picture of a Polaroid at one part of our trip and then you'll retake the picture. Mine's is more of a travel blog on the places that we've travelled to. Yeah, that's quite When nice. we're leaving them. So it's a synopsis of the place. Wow. Mm. Big word. Big on how much. Yeah, so um, that's this week for Travel Troubles. Travel uh, Next week's Travel Troubles. Are we... Are we... <laughs> we don't know when we're filming this next week because um, we're probably going to be working for the next nine days straight because we are going home. Home, yeah, for the week after. So, yeah, so we don't know if we're going to have any time off at all. Oh, you'll, you'll have some really good <laughs> issues between me us two. Well, we, if we film this on the uh, Wednesday or the Tuesday, as we've been happening, we'll have been working for nearly a week straight at that point. Ooh, that's going to be a fun <laughs> episode. The tenth episode of us just literally looking it's like sleep that. deprived. Yeah. Drinking the coffee that Sean's been promoting all over his TikTok, uh, yeah, and Instagram and YouTube and wherever he can sell himself out, really. Uh, <laughs> We're not going to mention the brand here because then I have to mention that the, this. But is you can go and find it. Yeah, you can have a look at my TikTok for my promotions and stuff. Um, but yeah, technically didn't promote it on this video then, so that's fine. Because <laughs> YouTube and their algorithm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think. I'm Say done. yeah one more time. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. So how do we normally finish this? We'll see you next Thursday. <laughs> we'll see you next Thursday. And I'll see you again. Bye. Spoon. <laughs>